Good afternoon from a chilly Washington, D.C. I wanted to film today's Psalm 8 outside because it speaks of the magnificence of the Creator God, of our God. Uh, it says, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic or how excellent is your name in all the earth. And then it goes on to name how excellent he is. And I wanted to talk to you about these names of God, the powerful names of God. And there's many, many different ones in the Bible. I'm going to speak about four right now. But we can call out uh, to these names and they each have a, a different emphasis on a facet of God's um, presence and personality and the first one is El Roy and that means the God who sees it's only used once in the Old Testament by Hagar when she's out in the wilderness and and she calls upon the God who sees do you need a God who sees you do you feel like you are out in the wilderness or alone call upon the God who sees and ask him to rescue you and be there for you so El Roy. The next one is El Shaddai. And El Shaddai means the almighty, powerful God. And we can cry, cry out when we need a powerful God. And he is always there for us. And then there's Elohim. This is the, the name of God, the creator God. And the creator God, this is the very first name of God we find in the Bible, actually in Genesis. And it's God who created the heavens and the earth. He creates something out of nothing. Do you find yourself in a situation that you need God to create something out of nothing? It might even be a hopeless situation that you find yourself in. Do you need God to create hope in your life or more faith or, or to really bring forth a situation? Cry out to this creator God and say, Elohim, I need you to come and to create for me now something out of nothing. And then there is the beautiful, what we call the tetragrammaton, the, the four letters that in the Hebrew language they are forbidden to speak, but in the English language we get the word Jehovah. And so Jeho Jehovah means the all-powerful I am. And we know in scripture that God says he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And if you need this all-powerful, all-present God, He's with us in every moment. If you're being robbed of a wonderful present because of perhaps something that happened in your past or you're worried about your future, ask this wonderful Jehovah God to meet you right here in this present moment and to be the all-powerful great I am for whatever situation you find yourself in. So we have El Roy, the God who sees. We have El Shaddai, the Almighty God. We have Elohim, the Creator God, and we have Jehovah, the Great I Am. So here's just four names, and I'll put a link to even more names that you can read about. And then the psalmist says, O oh Lord, our Lord, how awesome or how excellent or how majestic is your name in all the earth. I will sing of your majesty above the heavens. And when I see your moon and stars, I see the work of your fingers, and it makes me want to cry out all the more. And then it concludes again with, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And I'm going to put a link to a great old uh, Michael W. Smith song sung by Amy Grant. And I want to encourage you to sing out to our almighty, all-powerful God and sing his praises because he's worthy of our praise. So let's offer ourselves to him and then sing along. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we offer you ourselves today, and may we just get a glimpse of your excellence and of your worth. And I know, Lord, that as we magnify you, our problems on earth get smaller as our God gets bigger. So, Lord, help us to cry out to you and sing to you and see what a magnificent God you are. And we know, Lord, it's only by your grace. So fill us with this grace, this grace of your presence, because we say, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Read this psalm and sing along and be encouraged.